Hey friends, Davey here with Davey and Krista, and today we are chatting about how you can speed up your WordPress website using Auto Optimize. Auto Optimize is a free WordPress plugin that's going to help you optimize your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on your website. And one of the great things about Auto Optimize, beyond it being a free WordPress plugin, is that it doesn't have any caching functionality, which means that you can use this WordPress plugin with Tool, other tools like WP Rocket, and it should also be compatible with most WordPress hosts. If you haven't been able to check out my video on how we optimize our websites using WP Rocket, I highly recommend you go check out that first because we use WP Rocket and Auto Optimize together in optimizing our websites. Two things I highly recommend as you get started optimizing your website with Auto Optimize. First things first, as with any plugin, create a backup of your website before installing the plugin. Tools like Auto Optimize have powerful features. So you want to make sure that if something breaks on your website as a result of Auto Optimize, that you have a version of your website that you can restore back to. Along the same lines, I highly recommend testing one feature at a time. This way, you can understand the impact that that one feature has on your website speed. And also, if something breaks on your website, this should also save you some time troubleshooting as you know exactly what feature broke your website. As we go through the features in Auto Optimize, keep in mind that you might use different features than I do. That's because WordPress websites can be built differently. You might have other plugins that you're using to optimize your website. So there might be some variation here and that's okay. And the last thing before we get started, if you haven't run a page speed test on your website, head on over to GT Metrics and run one. This way you have a good benchmark before you get started. We highly recommend GT Metrics because it integrates with Core Web Vitals and it just gives you a ton of data about the performance of your website. Something to keep in mind when it comes to GT Metrics is that unless you're paying for one of the premium versions of GT Metrics, you'll only get the desktop data. If the premium version of GT Metrics is not in your budget, that's okay. You can still use that desktop data as a good benchmark and reasonably assume that if things are drastically improving on desktop, they should be at least improving a little bit on mobile. But you'll definitely want to understand how things are optimized on mobile as well. All right, so let's dive into Auto Optimize. You'll notice that when you come into your Auto Optimize settings and you just access it by going to settings and then auto optimize across the top is javascript css and html that's where we're going to spend most of our time then images auto optimize actually integrates with short pixel i don't use short pixel on many of my websites i use imageify instead and that's wp rockets tool however i've heard really good things about short pixel there's an integration with critical css that we'll talk about in a minute as well so as we go down and look at the different javascript options you'll notice that i've checked the first two boxes here optimize javascript code and aggregate JS files. Most of these other boxes are actually discouraged. And if you remember from my video on WP Rocket, I let auto optimize handle most of the JavaScript and CSS optimization. So I have these boxes checked here in auto optimize and I leave them unchecked in WP Rocket. If I try to optimize using both WP Rocket and auto optimize, I should receive some sort of error saying that you know, basically what I've done is redundant and I should disable that feature set in either auto optimize or WP rocket. So if you're getting that error, you're going to want to go and check one of those plugins, make sure that you don't have any redundant features going down here for CSS options. I've optimized CSS code. I've aggregated CSS files and also aggregated inline CSS. I haven't checked any of the rest of these. You could test these out, see if they make a big difference on your website. I haven't optimized the HTML code. This is something, again, I would recommend you checking out. I had issues when I was optimizing HTML code uh, in Auto Optimize, and so I've left this unchecked for the time being, especially since we have really good page speed scores for FarmFedBox, which is the example website that we're using here. So I've decided to leave this off for the time being. You can uh, integrate this with your uh, CDN. We use Cloudflare, so this isn't needed. And then down here in miscellaneous options, I have uh, save aggregated script CSS as static files. I have checked minify excluded CSS and JavaScript files and enable 404 fallbacks. I've also enabled configuration per post page just so I have this meta box that I can use to optimize on a post or page level. But you could certainly turn that off if you want these settings to be set across your entire website. So after that, you'll just want to make sure that you come down here to save changes in empty cache. And again, go back to GT metrics and test your website. Again, I highly recommend actually doing that after you check each 
box instead of checking all of these and then doing that just in case something goes wrong and it breaks your website because again, it'll be a lot easier to figure out exactly what setting did that. Now, if you use short pixel, you can integrate auto optimize and short pixel here. We don't use short pixel. Like I said, we use Imageify. I will try to create videos on both Imageify and short pixel at some point, however. There's also this interesting integration with critical CSS. So if you come over here to critical CSS, you'll see that if you go to criticalcss.com, you can sign up for a critical CSS account. They're going to auto generate that critical CSS for you. All right, so you just come down here and click the WordPress option, and then you can link via API back in auto optimize. So you just paste your critical CSS API key here. I am going to uh, try to create a video on this to see how it improves website speed and to see if you can get rid of some of these Google PageSpeed Insights notifications like render blocking CSS. However, uh, because this is what our latest uh, PageSpeed report looks like for FarmFedBox, I just don't see why it'd be worth it to spend another $10 a month. And these are some of the trade-offs you have to think through as you're optimizing your website. Sure, I could probably continue to, to improve this a little bit, but would it be worth it, you know, subscribing to another subscription? If you have any questions, be sure to drop those in the comments below this video. If you're looking for a new website, be sure to check out our premium line of Show It and WordPress designs over at DaveyandKrista.com. And if you appreciated this video, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future content. We have additional videos on how to optimize your WordPress websites. Be sure to check out that over on the Davy and Krista YouTube channel. Peace.